Well, on the south side of Miami is the baddest part of town. And if you go down there, you better just beware of a man named Tony O'Brown. Bad, bad, and Tony O'Brown. Baddest man in the whole damn town. Badder than old King Kong. Meaner than a junkyard dog. Bad, bad Antonio Brown. I gave him the nickname right away. If ESPN steals it, I want that. Trademarked. Tracy, trademark that name. Copyright that name. Bad, bad Antonio Brown comes to the New England Patriots. Lord, my heart be still. What is going on in the NFL? This is unbelievable. Without question, one of the biggest news stories in my life as a New England sports fan, in my life, the Patriots make a deal with the devil to get Tom Brady his seventh ring. Wow. Wow, I am shocked. I can't believe it. Brian, what's going on, man? I, I, I can't believe it myself. I mean, it, 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 this is the, about the last thing I expected to happen. And you're pissed off about it. Why are you mad? Well, like I said, the good news is we just signed Antonio Brown. The bad news is we just signed Antonio Brown. So, <laughs> uh, you know, so what if he, like, uh, I verbally assaulted his general manager or, or has been suspended, like, you know, been missed so many practices in Oakland and, Yo, know, I guess what I'm with Ben Roethlisberger. The guy's nuts, but so is half the other players in, in the NFL. This is not a league of choir boys. Oh, I, I don't expect him this, to be a choir boy. The NFL looks a lot more like a prison yard than a college quad. Listen, this is a billion, billion dollar business, and the Patriots got better today. And all these... Hallelujah types and all these righteous, but you know, the Patriot way and all of that, all of that. As soon as he scores a big touchdown in a big game, that's going to go away just like this. Zip. Because he's bad, bad. Tony O'Brown, baddest man in the whole damn town, badder than old King Kong, and meaner than a junkyard dog. And Antonio Brown's going to be catching touchdowns from the greatest quarterback that ever lived. Give me it. Give me the sizzle, baby. Give me the Hollywood. I want it all. I am a Patriots addict. I want it all. I want to win again. I want to watch. My favorite day of the year is after they win the Super Bowl and I get to watch Sports Center and I get to see it in everybody's face over and over and over again. Max Kellerman, right there. The cliff ain't nowhere near Tom Brady, baby. That's it. Unbelievable news. You, I, I didn't think you were like the holier than thou. Uh, I mean, you know. I'm, I'm not, but I also. It, I, I will give you, Antonio Brown has been one of the best wide receivers over but, the last eight yeah, seasons. Yeah, but you have a list of his transgressions in front of you. I, well, I have both. Okay, so... so, so I, I have the good, I have the bad. I'm, right. I'm here to give you both. All right, yeah. I'm here to give you both. Yeah. 2011 to 2018, these are just the averages. Yeah. 103 catches. Sure. 1,300 plus yeah. yards, nine touchdowns. Yeah. Okay. We'll Every take year. It. We'll take it. Every Some year. people say he's the best receiver in the in in NFL today. I think he's in the top three. I, I'll agree uh, with uh, you when his head is screwed on. Give straight. me the bad. What has he done that is so terrible? Well, for starters, he quit on the Steelers week 17 last year. Okay. Okay, yeah. And and then, on t well, I mean. He Fall has, with Ben Roethlisberger. We know about that. Continuously. Okay. 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 Then, then he had the problem with the cryotherapy. Yeah. Where he got frostbite in both feet. Yeah. Um, th then, he, then he continued on with the grievance with, apparently there was a change in equipment and sure. Mr. Yep. Brown didn't like that. Some athletes are superstitious. Some athletes are creatures of habit. You know, a helmet is a serious thing. Is there a piece of sporting equipment more important than a helmet? No. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Not at all. Um, after, after that, then th there was complaints back and forth. Sure. With General Manager. Call it General Manager a cracker. 
Hey, do not do that to one of the crafts or Bill Belichick, Antonio. No. Because you, no, you're, that will you're, not work. Bad, bad Antonio. You may be a bad dude. But don't, don't be calling Bill Belichick and Tom Brady no cracker. Because that ain't flying. How, how many rings has Bill Belichick had between the Patriots and the Giants? Sure. Eight? Yeah. Yeah. Six of them with the quarterback, Tom Brady. Yes, indeed. Let me ask you a question. Does Tom Brady have to sign off on this deal for it to happen? Is, is Brady in the circle of conversation when they're thinking about pulling the trigger? I believe he is. He should be. He, he's the one who has to throw to him. Sure. He's the one who has to deal with him. He, he, he's the one who has to co-sign all his bullshit, walk in the locker room with him day one, and say, this is, America is the land of second chances, fellas. Second chances. And this man is getting a second chance today. And you know how that happens? Tom Brady grabs him right by the, right by the, right by the show and says, come on, brother. Let me show you the Patriots locker room. Let me show you how champions do it. Let me show you. Yeah, you want you want a ring? Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Here's my locker. Here's your locker. Walk him in there one last time, one last dance. We are chasing immortality. We are chasing immortality. If Brady gets this, he has more rings than Jordan in a league that is historic, historically more competitive. Much more. Much more competitive, much more balanced. Okay? We're chasing immortality. That's why we make the move. You make this move if you're desperate, or you make this move if you want to be on the top of the mountain. You don't half step, okay? Half step, okay? And part time it and sign bad, bad Antonio Brown. Hell no. You're going for it. You're going up or you're going under. One way. And if he acts the fool, the Patriots will cut him in a New York minute. There won't be no back totally. and forth on ESPN. They'll cut him in a New York City minute, and that is fast, Jack. Just like that. And, and Baddest man in the whole damn town. Do you like the nickname Bad Bad Leroy Brown? Oh, bad, bad Antonio. Bad, bad yeah. Antonio Brown. You know what I mean. It, it definitely fits. What? It definitely fits him. <laughs> James, I love it. you love it, Tracy? Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Listen, bad, bad Antonio Brown, call Lisa, call somebody, and copyright that name for me right now. Can you do that for me? I'll give you the money. It costs like 10 bucks. Monster.com. We'll see if you can do it off your phone. Listen, this is a bold move. But Tom Brady is not going to play. Tom Brady has done it with less around him more than another great quarterback. When you look at the San Francisco 49ers and they, and, they, and they comment about the weapons Montana had and the weapon Brady, Brady's had, let me explain to you, okay? First of all, nobody knew how to handle the West Coast offense, okay? Right. And... Tom Brady had a Hall of Fame running back. Uh, I mean, excuse me. Joe Montana had a Hall of Fame running back, correct? Yes, he did. Okay. I believe a Hall of Fame fullback in Rathman. I'll, okay. I'll have to look that up. Okay. Uh, jo John Taylor, Hall of Famer. Right? Jerry Rice. Hall Jerry of Rice, Famer. Hall of Famer. So right there, that's three weapons. Dwight Clark. Is Dwight he in the Hall Clark. of Fame? I believe so. Okay. So there you go. Weapons for days. Weapons for days. Couple of offensive linemen, I believe, are in the Hall of Fame as Randy well. Randy Cross. Who, who, but, uh, is a Hall of Fame, is a guaranteed Hall of Famer besides Gronk that Brady has had to throw to for multiple, multiple years? Randy Moss. But he's not, but he's not a Patriot. He's going to go in as a Viking. Well, he's going to go in as a Viking. Yeah, yeah. Thing, but, but he but was they, here for a few they years. too so. short, though. He, Gronk over time, Walker over time, Edelman. You know, Edelman may be able to sneak his way in. But you get my point, right? right. Troy Brown was a junkyard dog. Yep. But there was 10 times the, the talent on paper around Montana in the system that they played, okay, than Tom Brady. Oh, totally. And, okay. And, and, and that's, that's exactly we, the, yeah, the, we the are, debate. We are chasing mortality. Mm -hmm. And you know something? If you got the best cook or you got the best carpenter, 
give him the best tools. And he just had one. Okay? So for all you uptight, Bible-thumping, morality-waving, self-righteous, uh, bad, bad brown is below me, you will forget. In some big game in the corner of the end zone when bad, bad Antonio Brown scores a touchdown and the Pats win. It'll be just like that. Bad, bad Antonio Brown has a chance to rewrite his legacy. To go from one of the worst, worst behaved to one of the best signings in NFL history. He can go from zero to 100 on the thermometer because of, because of the team he went to. And I guarantee Drew Rosenhaus told him that. He says, you want all this nonsense to go away in Pittsburgh and Oakland? Go, work hard, put your head down, you know, do what you're going to do for the Patriots, okay? And don't forget, like that. Like that. The Patriots on a very, very thin line. And you do this if you're desperate, or you do this if you want to climb Mount Everest. Again. And that's what they're going to do. I think Tom Brady signed off on this. I think Belichick and Bob Kraft. I think the triangle of power, okay, the triangle of power, all in a room, and they say, let's do it. And they also have a history of turning people around. Sure. Before I mentioned Randy Moss. Yep. Uh, Corey Dillon. Yeah. Clock um, killing Corey Dillon. Yes, indeed. Yeah. But, but listen to me. Hey, listen. We're going for it, man. It is. And it's a billion-dollar business, and it's competitive as cut as it possibly can be. And there are a lot of bad guys in the NFL. Uh-huh. There's a lot of them. Sure there are. Hell, O.J. Simpson was the most loved guy in the NFL, and he's a bad dude. You know what I mean? Jim Brown's a bad, you know, bad, did some bad things. Michael Irvin. Yeah, we go, we go on and on. Pac-Man Jones, we go, a we go on and on and on. on, on. But some of the baddest dudes are the players I like the most. Lawrence Taylor was a bad dude. But when Sunday came, he came ready to play. And so does bad, bad Antonio Brown. I am the hurricane, breaking news. Bad, bad Antonio Brown. That's what you hear, hear from me first. Bad, bad Antonio Brown signs with the... Uh, New England Patriots, unbelievable breaking news uh, from Foxborough. We're going to get this clip out to as soon as we possibly can. Stay tuned uh, uh, for more. But the Patriots doing big things on a big ledge with bad, bad Antonio Brown. Baddest man in the whole damn town. Badder than a junkyard dog. No, badder than old King Kong and meaner than a junkyard dog. We'll be back later.